This video will show you how to configure your form. Once you're logged in, you will have the form settings tab on the left side. Click on it and this will take you to business information. The first thing you need to input is your business name. As you can see, you can preview your form on the right side and displays the information as you're writing. Secondly, you need to type your business website and a phone number. Below the phone number, you can write a description of who you are or what your company does. If you want to display your business address, you can type it below the description. To display this information, click yes on show business information. You can preview it on the right. This adds the business information button to your form. Repeat the process if you want to show a map of locations. You can preview it on the right as well. After this step, you are ready to save your business information settings. This next tab allows you to set additional settings such as a call to action message, which has a default message but you can customize it as you wish. Below you'll find the option to ask if new or existing customer. Click yes to have it activated. In this part, you can choose the form fields users are required to submit, such as name, email, phone, or a message. Here is a phone format validation for non-US or US phones only. Here's also an alternative submit button text with a default message that you can customize as well. Next, you can input an agree with terms text. Once you write your message, click yes on show checkbox with terms to make it visible. Finally, you can enable a capture code for security. After you're done with this, you're ready to save again. Now you're ready for social media configuring. Currently, you're able to connect with a Facebook page, so you need to type the URL. You also have the option to connect with other social media links such as Twitter, LinkedIn, Yelp, Google Places, and Pinterest. This next section allows you to configure your company's business hours. If you click on No, the schedule won't appear. Click on Yes if you would like to display it on your form. You can configure Monday through Friday, and you can even click here if the schedule is the same for those days. You can even configure Saturday and Sunday schedules in case your company works on those days as well. So once you're finished with that, you can configure the design of your form. We have many different templates available that you can choose from. And you can even preview how the form looks on a mobile device. As you can see, you can browse through the different sections, messages, info, and location. And you can click here to check how it would look on Facebook. Scroll down to see the map and go back to keep browsing. Make sure to select the template that works best for you. So now you can configure your tab. As you can see, this blue one is the default, but you have many different templates available. Right now, we're clicking on this one. As you can see, it changes the color immediately. You can change also the text message from the tab. Right now, we're writing call now. And you have this tooltip text where you can customize the little message that appears on the tab as well. You also have the option to decide the tab section you want this to be. As you can see on the preview, we have it on the right side. So make sure to decide which one works best for you. Moving on, you can find the mobile settings where you can configure how you want your tab to appear on a mobile device. If you want it to appear automatically or if you don't want it to appear and so on. If you want to configure your Facebook form, go to this part and click on add form to page tab on Facebook. You'll be redirected to Facebook login page and you need to enter the credentials of the Facebook page you're going to use. Once you're done configuring that, you can set a thank you page to appear after your visitors submit their information. With these magic strings, the context name will appear automatically and you can choose this default message or create one of your own. You have the same option to send a follow-up email once they submit their information. So this is the final step of form settings. This part allows you to configure where you want to receive your lead notifications. The sample account allows to receive email delivery and iPhone delivery. We do have more options to receive leads, so make sure to check the next tutorial that will cover that.